Uh, I have two selections um, that are short, thankfully, and uh, so let me begin with uh, The Sulky Wife of Kagan. When our ways fell to water and reflections ran flat and thin streams spinning from the weight of our wants, you put our house on your back, strode the earth's broad shoulders to its grove of unbroken ribs, warded by the tide lines of altar salt, where no sirens can wail of our chemical death, where there are no shrouds hung on make-dos, no haunt of mere minds collapsed on their promise, undone by time and misuse. The grove you've tamed with blood and shoulder, you yield to me, safe for sleepwalking to shore, a place to raise a house of leaves, to live in words not marble, but hydrozoan, ascending through sea changes, transdifferentiated and eternal. An Irish Wake. <clears throat> Before you slipped into the failed machinery of your body, you asked for us to celebrate the after, and in a way, we did. We gathered in a rented room, drank too much and story swapped, spilling secrets like our ninth pint. Like at any moment, you would walk in and I'd say, Duh, how come you never told them you and your cousins had warrants for lighting rockets off Ron Ulster? Or I'd say, Duh, why'd we keep it close you met Mum at Burlesque when she came to track down her polluted old man and caught you instead? She never was on a stage. Or I'd say, Duh, how come you never told anyone but me how you and your baby brother went fishing once because you thought he'd like the rainbow on a trout's shiny brown body? And how once you caught it, a heavy granddaddy fish that thrashed your palms and jilted your sockets, and you hadn't meant to kill it, but the hook stuck in the gills, and you tried to push it out. The gills sliced up your fingers, and every minute the air came tighter in your lungs, the clear fish eyes diminishing, the rainbow and brown shine failing, the gills running with your blood, his blood, stark panic in the sawgrass. The line chewed in half, cut up your tongue, and you laid the body in the pond. Removed your cradling hands, and the body hung a moment, declining into brown water that rolled over the wet shine. And you both couldn't breathe for the stillness of the water and the shrinking shine. And when the murk had rolled up and pushed the shine into a sliver, just a kick, a faint dart, boiling clouds and sand and pebbles, and no more failing flesh. But God, how you, the water broke, and you laughed like you had broke. Did you want us to laugh like that, after months of white sheets rolling up over your chest, over your eyes that were sightless and suspended, until death-like instinct moved you into dark waters beyond our eyes? Thank you.